Hello, good evening, and uh, all the best for your day main first attempt. We're going to start in a few hours from now. This video I've made specially to give you exam day instructions. They are simple instructions, but you have to carefully follow them so that you don't have any difficulty later. Every year we see students uh, ignoring or neglecting these rules and letting into problems. So first thing is that you, you would have by this time downloaded your admit card. If you have not done so, please do it immediately. So your admit card will run into four pages. I have this here with me. I also will show you a sample admit card which will look something like this. Okay, so this is how the admit card will look. So this is your admit card. So just go through some important details in your head. Just check with whether your name, date of birth, etc., etc., are all filled properly. Then what you need to do is you need to check the date of the examination. That's very important. Second is the shift. So there are two shifts, as you know, the first shift and the second shift. Now, like for example, in this particular uh, hall ticket. The shift is for the, the second second shift. There is a report book time. That means the time by which you have to be at the examination center. So please note that carefully. And second is the gate closing time. The gate closing time in the case of second shift happens at two thirty. That means after two thirty, you will not be allowed to get into the examination center. You have to. Be very, very careful about this. Obviously, you will not land at the last minute, huffing and puffing, uh, just at the nick of time. So, you have to plan your travel in such a way, considering that uh, this is, these are all working days, and uh, you will have to go through, if you are in a busy city like Hyderabad, you will have to go through traffic, etc., etc. So, you obviously have to plan you have to locate your center. In fact, I would advise you to visit the center one day in advance if you are not familiar with the geography of that place and be very clear how much time it will take and accordingly make your travel preparations start ahead. It may be two hours in some cases, it may be three hours in one in some cases. So based on that, you have to start. So don't arrive just exactly at 2.30 and uh, by any chance you are delayed by four or five minutes because of traffic conditions or you know, we don't know, there may be some VVIP movement around there and there may be some security problems, so your traffic may not move. So don't take those chances, be on time. The worst thing that can happen is that you get tensed up because of these external factors even before you land up at the exam. So these are things that you have to avoid. So time is very, very important. After 2.30, you land up for your second shift. Whatever you do, nobody has the power to allow you into the examination hall. So just be careful about this gate closing time. Okay, then the time of the test is given and then the value of the test is given. So obviously you will take note of all of those things. Then there is what is known as the self-declaration form. So self-declaration form, you have to give the undertaking. Now, these are normal COVID things and obviously uh, you will write that you don't have any of those things. So that's not a problem. But most importantly, what you need to do is these three things you have to take care of. First thing here is candidate's photo, same as uploaded on application form to be pasted before reaching the center. Please do that. Lot of students ignore this. So uh, the photograph that you have pasted, uh, uh, that, that, that you have uploaded on the application form has to be pasted here. Similarly, candidate's left hand thumb impression to be put before reaching the center, not at the center, before reaching the center. So these two have to be filled before reaching the center. Please note that. Then candidate signature, but this has to be signed in the presence of the invigilator. Be careful about this. This signature has to be done in the presence of the invigilator. So these are the things that you have to keep in mind on the first page. The above undertaking has to be filled up in advance before reaching the center except candidate signature which has to be done in the presence of the invigilator. So what are you going to do? Fill up that undertaking, photograph, 
You have to try some impression. Uh, in the presence of the invigilator, you got to fix your that is your page one. Page two. Now, page two, there are some important instructions for candidates. Just go through all the instructions. It's going to just take 10 minutes, and, but I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through some very, very important ones. And the, the one that is very important is point number 10. Now, what does point number 10 say? No candidate would be allowed to enter the examination center without admit card. Obviously, admit card, hard copy. There are some people who land up with a mobile phone saying that I have it on a soft copy format. Your mobile phones are not going to be allowed. You know that. So you need to take a hard copy. You got to take a print up. Okay. So what are the things that are required? One is the admit card and undertaking, which I've already talked about. Valid ID proof. Now I'm going to talk about that. What is a valid ID proof? I'm going to tell you. Okay. So these are the three things that are required. So admit card is required. The undertaking, which is part of the admit card, that is there. And valid ID proof. Then the candidates, point number 11. Candidates will be permitted to carry only the following items. And what are the following items? A personal transparent water bottle. So you can carry your own water bottle. Okay, this is again uh, a COVID precaution. So nobody will supply water to you. You, If you feel that you would require water, and most of you would require. So take a transparent water bottle. Then personal hand sanitizer, if you think you require it. A simple transparent ballpoint pen. Simple transparent ballpoint pen. Admit card. And additional passport size photograph for pasting on the attendance sheet. So you require, you need to have an additional passport size photograph. So this is another thing that you need to have. And original valid ID proof. Please remember. Original valid ID proof, not a copy, not a photocopy. What is required is a original valid ID proof. Okay. And no candidate is allowed to enter the center wearing his or her own mask. I mean, you can carry a mask in that place, remove the mask. Your mask will not be allowed. They will be giving you another mask. Okay. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. Now, the question is what is the original photo identity proof? PAN card. Driving license, voter ID, passport, Aadhaar card with photograph. Remember that. Aadhaar card with photograph. Ration card again with photograph. Aadhaar enrollment number with photo. Any of these things are valid ID proofs. So you need to carry original valid ID proof. Please remember this. Not a photocopy, not a Xerox. So these are the things that you have to carry with you. Okay, then uh, for the drawing test, which is tomorrow, you need to carry your own geometry box test for the BR entrance exam. Okay, the other point that you've got to keep in mind, and a lot of students ignore this, is that shoes, footwear with thick soles, and garments with large buttons are not permitted. So, if you have uh, one of those fancy shirts, fancy dresses, where there are large buttons, they'll not be allowed. Second thing is, Thick soles, that means uh, any shoe or any kind of slippers with high heels, they are not going to allow. So, best simple uh, carry, I mean, wear footwear, which is very simple in the sense that some kind of chappals or whatever without thick soles. If there are thick soles or high heels, they are not going to allow that. So, please keep that in mind. Then, a lot of students ask me this, sir, what about blank sheets where do i work on how do i work uh, work out the problems so you will be given six a4 size blank paper sheets so if they are not kept on your table you have every right to ask the invigilator for these sheets so you will be given six remember six so you got to use these six blank sheets judiciously that is very important so you need to plan and use these six blank sheets and all the rough work has to be done in these six blank sheets only. Okay. And on the blank sheet, what you need to do is write your um, uh, hall ticket uh, admit card number. Uh, that is the roll number. Write your name and roll number on that. And while leaving, you just have to drop it in the drop box. 
So this is what you should be doing. Then there's another thing which you should drop in the drop box and that is duly filled in admit card must be dropped in the designated drop box while giving the examination hall and room. Failure to do so may result in the non-evaluation of your answers. That is actually point number 20 here. So point number 19 is important, point number 20 is important. So these two things are important. Point number 19 is about blank sheets and point number uh, 20 is about your admit card which needs to be dropped uh, in the drop box. Then obviously it goes without saying that you should not indulge in any malpractices, there will be CCTV and if you are found indulging in any of those things you will be thrown out immediately. Okay, so these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind. Now few additional, then the admit card also has a third page which talks about advisory for candidates regarding COVID-19. There are a lot of things that are given there. And uh, then there is the last page, page number four, which talks about declaration from non aadhaar If you don't have an aadhaar, then there is a declaration that you need to give. That is in the last page. Now, two additional things that you need to keep in mind. One is the CBT format. That is the computer-based test format. I am sure all of you would have gone through it. If you have not done so, please do that immediately. Just go to the NTA, National Testing Agency, Abhyas portal and go to mock test. There is a mock test there. Just go to mock test so that you will get the look and feel of the computer-based test format. The most important thing that you need to take care of as far as the computer test format is the color scheme. The color scheme, how your question numbers are marked. The question numbers for questions which you have not touched will be gray. Then questions which you have answered will be green, etc, etc. So that color coding you need to answer. Or that, that, that you need to see and familiarize yourself. There is also, you know, you can also mark for review. You can mark for review without reading, without answering the question. You can mark for review after read, answering the question. So if you mark for review, it will be in purple. So just by looking at the color scheme, you will, you will get an idea as to how many you have not visited, how many you have visited, how many you have answered, how many you have marked for review, etc, etc. So that is one thing that you have to take care of. Second thing you should be familiar with is the navigation. How do you go from section to section? How do you go from question to question? And uh, in the case of a, of a question which extends beyond a screen, how do we scroll down use of the arrows? So these are things which you should be familiar with. And I'm sure any institute who would have trained you on this. Otherwise, if you have not gone through, if you have not taken an actual mock test, I would suggest that you go to NTA Abhyas website go to the mock test and familiarize yourself with all of these things. Also, there would be a set of instructions there. Go through the instructions. The same instructions will also be available once you log into the test. The same instructions will be available. So, be familiar with that. Then, lastly, and this is important, there are some instances when the computer may fail. Computer, after all, is a machine. It may fail. It has happened to us in the past and it may happen to you also. If the computer for any reason has failed, has you know stopped working, you know the screen has gone blank or it's frozen, don't panic. Don't panic, nothing is going to happen. So they will have a fair computer. Absolutely no problem. So you just have to call the invigilator immediately. Immediately, that is what you should do. Call the invigilator immediately and ask him to arrange a another computer okay and till that time don't waste your time till he arranges another computer you go on and start keep working on your previous problem so that is what you should be doing uh, don't waste your time waiting for the invigilator to arrange another computer so use that time productively also once you start on in the second device in the second device what happens is the test will start exactly where you start and the timer also will start exactly where you stopped. So you are not going to lose anything. So don't panic just because your computer has stopped working. This has happened in the past. 
this may happen with you also don't worry just ask the invigilator to arrange the uh, spare computer for you and they will arrange it okay so these are the important instructions as far as the test is concerned so please follow these instructions to make your life very very uh, i would say tension free when you go for the exam the most important thing of course is landing up for the exam on time that is the most important thing so there are some people who don't plan their travel and ultimately uh, land up five minutes late even if you are a minute late you will not uh, not be allowed into the examination center after the gate closing time so please keep this in mind uh, yesterday uh, my colleague Krishna Chaitanya has done a complete video on the last minute uh, tips for your preparation uh, I'm sure you've gone through that just follow that and the instructions that I've given today all the best for your JE main exam you are the best prepared just go ahead and do your best all the best